of today. <laughs> uh, let's watch it. Eating animals is wrong. McDonald's hurting animals is wrong. McDonald's. Okay, Ryan, put down your ukulele. Hi, kids. Hi. Oh, so don't mind my face. I guess she she was crying because she saw that somebody was eating a chicken nugget. So, oh my goodness, I I do that all the time. So that is that's pretty much what I do. True. Well, Ryan, what is that thing on your head? What is that? So sorry. <laughs> that was probably really bad for the environment. Straight from the back rack of Party City. Wait, are you making fun of me? Because you think I have a wig on? Is that is that what it is? Because like a lot of people are often saying that they think I have a wig, and you're just like leaving the tag because you're sort of proving that I have a wig. Is that it? No. Two plus two is four. Six plus six is twelve. Cows are murdered every day in slaughterhouse. <laughs> She's laughing. What? She's laughing about cows being slaughtered. Oh, I think we caught her red-handed. She's not vegan. Is that even a real handmade shirt? I bet I I think I saw that at Forever 21. I don't know how to, I don't know, Ryan. I don't know what to say about this. Kids need to learn the truth. Here's my card for that one. She has another card. You guys, I need a card. I feel really under prepared. Where's my here guys? Protect. Nuggets, which is a dead chicken, unfortunately. Can you believe it that people cut them, cut up these innocent birds and just stick them inside a wrapper? I mean, it's delicious. So sad. No, no. Shut up, Brian. Spit out that KFC you had yesterday. Spit it out. The little cow asks, Where's my mommy? She's a big Mac. Oh, that's true. Mac. She's a big Mac now. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying not to laugh. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's so sad. <laughs> the way she's providing me with so much validation. That Dorito could have been someone's mom. No, the Dorito itself can't be someone's mom. Hey, I went to a really bad public school. We didn't have that class. Don't kill animals. Don't kill. It was fire. It was fire. <gasps> what? Oh, no. What is going on? Die. 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 Oh. Die. Oh, no. Die. What are you making me do? We don't hurt spiders. Spider. Someone's at the door. I would never do that. Shame on you, Ryan. Eight X's for you. <coughs> yeah, I think this is my tea, or I'm having a vegan exorcism. Ugh. All the dead animals <laughs> that I've eaten are coming back to life. No, a zebra. Wait, no. Not a zebra. It wouldn't be. I've never eaten this zebra. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, no hate to that vegan teacher. All love. This is all just funny games. I'll see you in the next one. What's up, guys? Today... <laughs> Anyway, part two. Let's get into it. Hello, students. Welcome back to class. Welcome back to class. Welcome back to class. Don't be a pain in the ass. So first up presenting today is somebody named Ryan Comedy. That's why I'm like sweating. Do you see my pit stains? All right, can I test two songs for you? <laughs> that wasn't me. That was thunder outside. Wait, what? What? How? Everything's happening so fast. Was that supposed to be me farting? Yeah. Is that okay? That that kid though, look at look at that kid. You know, look at that face. She's like, it is ugly. If that vegan teacher was your mom, that pretty much is the face of my boys, I have to admit. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> she my mom. Mom, am I adopted? Should I start a family vlog channel with my my mom? My new mom? Morning routine. <laughs> that wasn't me. What is that? What is, how do you do that? It's just the sound of me stubbing my toe. There it is. That tofurkey Turkey. bowl. Oh my gosh, mom. We finish each other's sentences. Ryan, how did you even know that tofurkey is a thing? <gasps> Are you vegan? No. I have a Burger King right attached to my apartment building. Um, so I'm a... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a frequent customer there. You're a rat, Chuck E. Cheese. You're a nut. You're a rat, Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, I don't actually think we have Chuck E. Cheese up here. You must be from the States, I guess, right? I tried to look around your site a bit. I don't actually understand what's going on on your channel, usually. <laughs> no way. She watches my channel? Guys. Mom. You're a mouse. You're a rat. You're an ugly, ugly rat. Go vegan. What? No. Ryan? Mm-mm. Rats are not ugly, you get an X for that. But you said go V! I have some cards around here. Oh God, I don't know which one it is, but I have a card here somewhere. It's not the right card. She's like, where's the right one? If you're not vegan, you're an ugly fat troll. I have, have this one. 
If you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser, that's not the one I'm looking for. Like that rat owned business in New York City that licks homeless Broadway actors. Are you saying the rats own the business themselves? They own the business. Is it that hard? Kind of a slimy Okay, I, I don't know it. what is going on here, but did you take your medication today, Ryan? Ow. <laughs> Mom. Too far. But he's still being polite. He's not being mean to his mom, which is good. His mom is that vegan teacher. She's trying to save the world and save animals. Whoa, new Marvel movie? Did she just pitch that? Marvel's like, WandaVision, season two. That vegan teacher. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, no hate to that vegan teacher. All love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a lot to discuss. And not just the fact that I fell out of my Uber this morning. So if you guys saw part two to this saga, last, the last video I talked a lot about how that vegan teacher is my mom, I'm like, she's my caregiver, I look up to her. Things have taken a turn for the worst. Hello students. And especially to you, Ryan. Ryan Comedy. I don't think you're funny. At first I was going along with things, thinking, okay, maybe you're just joking around and you actually have a heart. But lately your posts are showing actual dead animals, promoting products that contain dead animal body parts. And it's not funny anymore. These animals suffer terribly. It's not a joke. Let's just get to it. Basically, that vegan teacher made a TikTok account named after me. Today, we're going to be looking at those videos and also some DMs. So stay tuned and grab your tea because it's hot. Don't kill animals, don't kill animals, don't kill anyone, don't kill anyone, don't kill anyone who has a mom. Pre-vegan, Ryan Sutherland, otherwise known as Ryan Comedy. Goal? Veganize him. How? Education, perseverance, logical explanations, and guilt tripping. Remind him that his idol, Billie Eilish, is also vegan. <laughs> Wait, guys, Billie Eilish is not my idol. <laughs> Where'd she get that? Being vegan doesn't mean that you just do your best not to oh, eat yeah. rare or use yeah. Today's video is going to be about a channel that I started over on TikTok. Basically, they're to try to attract the audience of Ryan Comedy. My goal is to try to get his audience to know what veganism entails, to try to get them to really understand, to watch the important documentaries like don'twatch.org. She sent me that link, actually. Okay, this is a whole new rabbit hole. I guess I started posting videos last summer about that vegan teacher. And in September, um, she DM'd me. I don't, I don't know if I, I'm not gonna read exactly what she said, just to respect her privacy, but I'll, I'll, I'll screen share my half of the conversation. I'm paraphrasing here, but basically she was like, hi Ryan, please stop making videos. This is like severely disrespectful. I'm like an internet personality, but this really hurts my feelings. So when I saw that DM, I think I was, um, well, I didn't know, I, I didn't want to open it. I was like, I was super like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry, I'm literally so sorry. So I basically responded, I'll read out what I responded. I said, hey, I completely understand. She basically said, do not make videos of me anymore, please. Do not make videos of me eating meat. Now, whenever I make that vegan teacher videos, guys, I you might say at the bottom of the videos, I always have a disclaimer that's like, this is a veggie burger. <laughs> I don't know, just because. I don't wanna be like totally disrespectful at all. So I, I always order a veggie burger. Like I never eat actual meat when I'm being in my vegan teacher, you know, acting like her. Just because I'm like, I think that might be a bit too far. I don't wanna be rude towards vegans. It's all in the name of fun and games. And I assume that she knew that. I'm not doing this to offend anybody. You know what I mean? I'm just doing it. I think it's a fine. She's a great personality to make videos of. And my intention is never to slander vegans or even her. Like, she's a person. Like, I respect her. So, obviously, I said, hi, I'm so sorry. My heart dropped. I was like, oh my gosh, did I actually offend her? That was never my intention. I always try to create content that my audience enjoys, and this happens to be what they are enjoying most right now. But I hope you know there are no cruel intentions. In regards to eating meat during the videos, they're all veggie burgers in real life. I totally respect you and, and you being vegan. I do have one video 
coming out next week that is of you playing the ukulele in different songs, but it doesn't include any meat eating. Thank you for being open with me. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Basically, she said, Ryan, it's time to stop hurting animals and sent me this link to that don'twatch.org, which I assume, I never opened it, because I assume it's like a, a very graphic documentary. There's like a password that you have to sign in with. Um, in my, my, I had to go on data to see it because like my Wi-Fi was like blocking it. So I assume it's kind of a weird, I, th I assume it's kind of a really graphic documentary about cow <laughs> slander, the business of that. Which I don't know for sure. This is just what I've heard from different people. So I didn't respond to that. I know how to respond. So I just left her on red, unfortunately. And then she comes out and says, Ryan, let's do a collab. And I was like, wait, I thought you wanted me to stop making videos about you. So I was kind of confused. She actually, it was like a funny idea. I was like, oh, maybe I should do this. But I just, I just didn't think the timing was right. I didn't know how to respond. I told my friends about it and they're like, oh my gosh, don't respond. And then that was the end of our, um, little air on Instagram. Anyway, let's continue watching this video. So this is Ryan and this is him on TikTok. Now, if you listen to the music, he's saying, I didn't mean to break your heart. And this is directed at me. He's feeling a little bit of guilt. Go save the chickens. Go save them, Ryan. Whoa. -ho. Go save the chickens. Stop them from dying. In this next skit, Ryan is talking about the Amish. Oh no, she's not gonna like this. You can have a very simple life. Making jam, churning butter, riding horses, having no- Uh-oh, two of those aren't vegan. Churning butter, mm-mm. We don't steal milk from baby cows. Riding horses, we don't exploit animals. Punishment, no broccoli for a week. Girl, that's fine with me. <laughs> no broccoli. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm like addicted to ramen. It's like the only vegetable I eat. And I don't even think it's a vegetable. Ryan is duetting his friend's video. Yeah, basically my friend Takaya, she's an amazing singer and she released a song and I posted on TikTok. I was like, hey, um, hey everybody go listen to this song. You should guys, it's so good. Storyline, Takaya Green. So she made this video reacting to me reacting to her. Ryan says she's the best person in the world. And I write, yay, she must be vegan. Anyway, if you want to hear the song, and I encourage you to do so, because it's actually really good. Nice. <laughs> Actually, guys, my friend, so Takaya sent me this, and she was like, oh my gosh, that vegan teacher gave me a shout out. <laughs> so I'm happy about this. So here's where I change it up a bit, and I become quite serious. Oh no, guys, I forgot about this one. My alarm clock is a literal rooster. I just smack its head to the snooze. No, Ryan. Oh no, she's holding the rooster. You never joke about hurting animals, smacking them, kicking them, eating them. Animals are here with us on the planet. So no, we don't joke about that. It's time for you to actually become vegan, Ryan. 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 Oh Ryan. She's looking right at me. Come and join me and be vegan from now on. Really, I could use your help. Come on, Ryan. Oh my gosh! Do I grab it? I'm like, <laughs> it's like three D movies where you like, you have the glasses on. You're like. I can reach it, mom. <laughs> Your mom's like, stop, you look stupid. Son, there are people in this theater. Anyway, the saga continues. Thank you guys for watching this part of the journey. We'll see where it takes us. And again, no hate to that vegan teacher. This is all just fun and games, all love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Friends, acquaintances, vegans. Today we discuss we something, something traumatic, traumatic and horrifying, horrifying. and Third adjective. All right, guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be talking about my stalker. Yay! <laughs> Is this the most energetic intro you guys have seen for a stalker video? <laughs> Yay, buy the merch. Today's video is gonna be traumatic, crazy, and intense. Buckle up your seatbelts, cause it's illegal not to, <laughs> at least in Canada. Here we go, guys, so my stalker. You guys already know who this person is. You do. Yeah, I see your wrinkled brow. I can see through the screen, you know. My stalker is. Oh wait, I should probably say who it is. You guys are like, <laughs> is that your aunt from Mississippi? Like, ah, uh, it's that vegan teacher. Yes, guys, yes, we're back with the drama. 
that vegan teacher and I are kind of having some beef right now. And I'll explain all the DMs, I'll explain all the videos throughout this entire video. So as you guys have known, if you've seen all the other videos that I posted on this channel about that vegan teacher, it's been a saga. And today I just want to give an update because things have gotten worse. Many of you guys know that vegan teacher follows me on Instagram. And so I'm gonna be honest, every time I post something on Instagram, I'm worried. Like I'm like, oh my goodness, that vegan teacher is seeing me whenever I eat cow heart. I'm like, I can't post that. Oh, I spilled. Felicia, Felicia, there's a spill. If you guys wanna feel rich, just like pretend you have a maid. It works, it actually works. Wait, do I wanna wear glasses? I guess I always, I always feel smarter when I have glasses. Okay, that vegan teacher. No, I can't really see. If you guys have followed my Instagram, you know I post polls. A poll or a question. There was one time where I was like, I was like, hey guys, let's do a video where I only eat Taco Bell. Or no, where I only eat some sort of fast food for 24 hours. And I asked what I should do, and that vegan teacher responded. Any vegan restaurant, not vegetarian, vegan. And then the next day, she says, I posted a photo of my dog, Finnegan. She has the audacity to write quick. There's still some time to save this dog from Ryan, but it's nearly dinner time, so hurry! He may come to stab her at any moment. He's a he. He identifies as he, him. Carnists are unpredictable. They even eat pigs, chickens, and cows. And worms. No, I'm kidding. I added that part. <laughs> What is this video? I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Be kind to all animals. Tell Ryan to Google vegan recipes and to watch Dominion on YouTube to learn the truth. Actually guys, she definitely has been going subconsciously into my mind though, I will say, because even this morning for lunch, you heard that right. I kind of eat lunch at weird times. I was like, oh, I want something different. I'm sick of ramen noodles with ketchup. I just kind of looked in the pantry and found this vegan recipe. If you guys don't know, my sister is vegan. Maybe I should tell that vegan teacher that, that we're not, we're not all eating pig on a stick 24 seven. Like I have someone in my family who eats something green. Maybe that's my issue. All my foods I eat are beige. Like I will be honest, my plate at Thanksgiving, at Christmas, like it's all like mashed potatoes. Like sometimes I'll add some salt to give some like lighter color. Like it's white, right? So anyway, I did have a ve I did have vegan pancakes today. They didn't turn out the best, unfortunately. Then I said, I posted a story where I was like, hey, hey, my mango babies. Do you guys like that? Just heading out, just ate dinner with the family. Now we're getting some, um, my neighbors are still looking at me, getting some ice cream. <laughs> she says, ask for the vegan dairy-free ice cream so no cows have to be kidnapped from their moms. Ask your parents to watch Dairy is Scary with you on YouTube. It's only five minutes log. <sighs> I don't know if log is some sort of vegan word for you're an idiot, I hate you, I wanna pee on you. So I was offended. I'm not looking through the stories, guys. Maybe I am a vegan. <laughs> am I vegan? Because I said, yes, I got the dairy-free dilly bar from Dairy Queen. And I did. We have this, it's like a little, I don't know what it is, and I'm too scared to look at it. No, I'm no, not gonna, I'm watch, not gonna it. watch it. No, I can't, I can't watch, watch it. it. Okay, now the tea begins. Little did you guys know that wasn't tea yet. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> I do this thing, guys, if I burp, I'm like, afterwards, I want people to think I'm like really polite and like, just a small, a small little bean. I'll be like, <sighs> sorry, sorry, oopsies. <laughs> so that vegan teacher made a video about me. Um, what's new? <laughs> and she's actually not a, a bad person, guys. I'm like being dramatic right now, because it's fun. Hello, students. Welcome back to class. <gasps> Her tie. <laughs> guys, where do I buy one of those? Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Okay, Ryan, let's go. Good morning, my little hummus hum hums. Usually I start my day off with a big glass of recycled water. <laughs> Her face, oh no. Recycled water I drink from having my mouth open under people's tables at restaurants. I like to collect the droplets. Next, I'll read the Holy Vegan Bible for five hours straight. My favorite parable is the one where that tree turns into a hippo and yells at Ronald McDonald and throws him in that ocean of lava where he burns to the ground. <laughs> it's a wholesome read. <laughs> Face. So that was that. That went very. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> my parents watching my videos. Very fast, and it was just too much to process. So I'm scared. Like I'm actually sweating. Oh, good job, Ryan. You're in bed, and I don't see any wool blankets or anything like that. Oh my gosh, she she is definitely up to her editing game, guys. Who is her editor? I will be contacting them. My videos just start looking like hers. Hey guys, today we're talking about the new Beyond Meat burger. It's good. There's chickpeas. I start my day off with a big glass of recycled water. I water is excellent! Opening your
your mouth to drink? Yeah, that's good. Girl, do you close your mouth? No, how does she do that? Felicia, another cleanup. Clean he sleeps with his ukulele. How cute is that? Check mark. Yes. Guys, I'm getting so much validation. Are there any feathers in those pillows? No. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. They don't kind of look bumpy, so I'll give that a check mark. Nice. So then what is in the pillow? Am I stupid? Do you guys know? Check the label all the time. Check the label. Check the label. Check the label. If it's vegan, it's okay. Check the label. Check the label. Check the label. Check the label. Don't eat cow arms. I might do a collab. Mm, no, we're not going to be drinking raw sewage. X. Question. Why not? No. It's not good. No, we're not going to do that. You know, I would be very careful with that, all right, Ryan? So maybe just take that out next time. Instead, just cross it off and just write vegan water. Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I am a disgrace. I will go throw myself off a bunk bed. You know, mouth open. Under having your mouth open is good to drink, but don't drink lying down, Ryan. That's dangerous. You could choke. You know, you could swallow some water down your trachea instead of your esophagus. This is so embarrassing, guys. <laughs> I just kind of zoomed out and realized that she's watching a video I made about her and I'm on the floor of my apartment. On your trachea. I, I should get a real job. My teachers were right. Was that a cracker? Was that a vegan? You know, you have to check. Don't forget to check the label. Check the label. Next I'll read the Holy Vegan Bible. You're going to read the Holy Vegan Bible. So Ryan, I'm going to give you a check mark because you're trying to be funny. You're trying to be funny. Yeah, she's right. Turn to <gasps> trees! Trees! My husband's a tree. <laughs> no, I'm so mean. No. Anybody who yells at Ronald McDonald, that's amazing. Post him in that ocean of lava where he... Oh, he burns it. Yeah, check mark to that. that. That's perfectly fine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's sort of like karma. That's, that's God's wrath right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs>